with any name comes a connotation and there's no way to really avoid that. With Sir John A. Macdonald, he was able to bring together the provinces of Canada to what we know today. However, he also held many values of white supremacy that greatly repressed Indigenous people and minority groups in Canada in general. We can't pick and choose what parts of a person that we can honour. So by having our name, we're upholding values that our school does not support. Um, so in changing this name, we're able to better support our minority groups at the school, specifically Indigenous people who have had to experience much generational trauma from the effects of Sir John A. Macdonald, and to move towards truth and reconciliation, really. And I would like every student of every background and every minority to feel the same comfort that I feel walking into the school. And if the name reflects your comfort, I want to make sure everyone is comfortable. We can't go back and change what John A. did, but we can stick to the present and we can make amends. We began the process by first informing ourselves and learning about what the process of the name change would be, but also the importance of the name change. So we had Miss Angela Faulkner, who is our Indigenous support worker. She created a presentation as well as another Indigenous leader in the community, and they came to us with this information to kind of educate us. We then took that presentation and presented it to our community and our students to better allow them to understand why this was so important and why it needed to happen quickly before we went into a name change submission process. We narrowed the list of names down to about five and towards the end of the process we actually gave those five names out to the student body and they were able to actually vote. We have heard a lot of support from students that have been pushing for this to be happening for years now who have always advocated for this change and they're very happy and proud to be at the school at the time that this is happening. I'm nothing but proud of what we've been able to accomplish. Indigenous people have always been put second or last, and today we're putting them first. I would say that if you're expressing concern over changing the name and changing our school's history, I would really push to educate yourself and understand why this is such an important change. You are part of this family, you graduated from this school or the old location, and you are still a flame through and through. You would still be part of our Flames family. We, that's our whole motto, forever a flame. Um, Bayview to us is standing at the edge of our student parking lot and looking out and seeing the bay. You can spend all day here and still look out and it still be beautiful. Whether it's the sunrise in the morning or the sunset in the afternoon, our Bayview will always be beautiful.